We got an announcement from Wolfpack, New Jersey. No, not yet. Hold, hold. No, no, no. Hold. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Okay. Now, we have just passed uh, the resolution calling for the end of Citizens United to get money out of politics. You get a convention to do that in the New Jersey Senate. It is SCR 132. 23 yeses and 12 noes. Okay. It is passed. Now, the reason why I say it's not time for the fireworks yet is because we still have work to do. It is still has to pass the House. It's already passed the committee in the House, but we're not done yet. Uh, they are not yet the fourth state. Up and at wolf-pack.com. Come join us uh, as we ride to victory in New Jersey and elsewhere. Okay, you want to be part of the answer? Come join our warriors that are getting the job done. Now, I'm going to show you a video how, of how this passed, and 2312 seems resounding. And here you're going to see in the video they didn't even have a debate on it, uh, and it's going to seem like it was easy. And then I'll tell you the real story. Watch the video first. Senate Concurrent Resolution Number 132, sponsored by Senators Greenstein and Stack, applies to Congress for limited constitutional convention to limit corrupting influence of money in politics and overrun Citizens United decision and related cases. Senator Greenstein moves the bill. Anyone further? If not, I direct the circuit of the machine. Please record your vote. All votes recorded, properly recorded. I direct the circuit of the closed machine for Italian Senate Current Resolution. 132 receiving 22 votes in the affirmative, 12 in the negative, clear pass, take use course pass bills. Bam. Okay, just that simple. But it's not that simple. First of all, how cool is it that there it is in legislatures across the country? It happened first in Vermont, then California, then Illinois, now we're in the middle of it in New Jersey. Our resolution is being passed. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that super cool that you guys go fight for that? You're going to see the people who fought for it at the end here in New Jersey. And then, it, and then the politicians go, oh, yeah, you're right, we should do that. I mean, there's a lot of heroes here in New Jersey, including a lot of the legislators who pushed for this. Uh, and now, it, was it actually easy? Of course not. You know, I'm going to go back to my favorite quote from Muhammad Ali. He said, the fight is won or lost far away from witnesses, behind the lines, in the gym, and out there on the road long before I dance under those lights. So what you just saw in that video was our version of dancing under the lights. <laughs> okay, But the hard work was when we reached out to all of those representatives and people in their districts that called them and said, I care about this, I care deeply about this. When we went to the committee hearings, when the volunteers showed up at their offices over and over again, and volunteers they'd never seen, people who don't normally work in politics, their actual constituents, their citizens saying, enough is enough. You've got to help us on this, you've got to go forward. So our allies were great, and we won over some of our opponents as well. That hard work was put on the uh, ground a long, long time ago before that vote came in, and we're doing that in every state. Now, let me tell you the legislators who were terrific in this fight. First, we go to Senator Linda Greenstein, is an American hero, one of the founding mothers of saving our democracy. Uh, she worked with members of the Democratic Caucus. She rallied support for our resolution and eventually it led to our victory. Senate President Steve Sweeney, a modern founding father, he helped uh, to make sure this was a priority and got the vote. Because it's one thing to have the legislators on your side, it's one thing to have the right vote count, it's another thing if you're even going to get the vote. And uh, he made sure that that happened, he's a hero for that. Senator Brian Stack was one of the primary sponsors. Senator President Pro Tempora uh, Nia Gill was a co-sponsor as well. Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg, uh, she helped beat back the opposition that was trying to get kill our resolution as they did in New Hampshire, and she made sure that that did not happen. Senator Jim Whelan was terrific. He's the chairman of the Senate State Government Committee. He delivered a great speech about how everyone agrees that fundraising is the worst part of the job, basically saying, free us, liberate us from this incredible fundraising nonsense that we have to deal with all the time. Senator Shirley Turner. A uh, member of the Senate State Government Committee voted yes in a, for our resolution in the committee, which is very important. Senator Pete Barnes, uh, also same thing, uh, voted yes in Senate State Government Committee. Senator Christopher Bateman, look at that, a Republican who voted for uh, this resolution and supports campaign finance reform because he's a principled American. And all 23 senators who voted for SCR 132, great job, all American heroes. Now, um, look, it's not just those guys that are out in front of the lights, but it's also the people who work behind the scenes. So for example, Jim Hooker is the chief of staff for Senator Green, uh, Greenstein, was incredibly helpful. 
and provided us with information. We needed to keep the ball rolling, and he was terrific in that sense. Uh, and these are all heroes in this fight. A Alex Velezquez, Chief of Staff for Senator Stack. Uh, Dylan Hawkins, Legislative Director for Senator Loretta Weinberg. Uh, Tony Teixeira, Chief of Staff for Senator Raymond Lesniak. And uh, these people also helped to get that information in front of the powerful legislators who are going to make those decisions. And finally, Karen Elkis, former Chief of Staff, Senate Majority Leader, and Senate President Sweeney. Uh, and they also help us understand the legislative process so that we can do our hard work to get the job done. So we thank all of them. They were all amazing. Now, our team, state leader in New Jersey's Walker Green. He's a young guy. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? He can't even have a beer to celebrate. He's not old enough. <laughs> You're going to see him in a video in a second. Unbelievable. He's also the guy who called Steve Berry, the uh, pastor in, in Vermont, who convinced the Vermont legislators to pass this. And Steve Berry, by the way, we decided to thank him by helping him run a campaign, is now a state legislator in Vermont. That's how we help our friends, okay? We always stick together. So now, our organizers in New Jersey, and sorry if I'm going to get your, some of your names wrong, as I all often do. Mark uh, Donjus, uh, Kedar. Venkatara Mani, oh, of course I got that wrong, <laughs> sorry guys, but I love you for your hard work. Steven Garcia, who's been fighting all, a long time on all levels to help on this. Rano uh, Banerjee, Scott Anderman, those are the organizers in New, New Jersey who were great warriors. Uh, volunteers are Rena Chen, Tani Thomas, Tony T, seems to be the only nickname here. Illinois doing much better on the nicknames, I don't know where you guys are with nicknames. In New Jer in Jersey, you gotta be better than that, all right. Coyote, uh, Medagbon, Kimik. Kimiko Nakatsuji, uh, Andrew Mugalian, uh, Ankit Rana, Eli Fendelman, Mohit Baki, Andrew Skolansky, Greg Schaefer, Federico Martinez, Jeremy Einbinder, Dan Gardner, Nick Quinn. Okay, all wonderful, wonderful volunteers. If every one of them didn't chip in, we couldn't get this done. It's a team effort. Now, honorable mentions, which I enjoy. For the because of the last name on the list there. Allison Harston, who is our state leader in California, and who goes and helps uh, uh, in each state to organize, and she's an amazing worker, uh, and so we couldn't have done it without her either. Wolf Attack, which I'll tell you about in a second. Now look at that last name, Dogan Uger, father of a certain talk show host who lives in New Jersey and said, give me a list of names to call, I'm calling my legislators. Okay, he literally said that when I was over there. In, in Thanksgiving and he made calls. Okay, everybody chips in. Now Wolf Attack is our elite team uh, that calls in from across the country and sometimes they literally go on the ground uh, and then uh, then they become Wolf Team 6. These guys are unreal, man. They've canceled vacations to work on this. Uh, they've done everything you can ask for them. Steve Geller, he's from California. Kit uh, Cabello from Illinois. Rod Zimmerman from Florida. Paul Kelleher from Massachusetts. Celise Carlo from Washington. Angela Helvey from Montana, Lucy Biggers from Connecticut, Chris Dockery from Texas, Joe Barons from California. All of us working together, this is how we get things done. Wouldn't you like to be part of that winning team? Man, we got them on the run, man. Wolf-pack.com. If you can't spend just a little bit of time helping us do this, at least become a member to support what we're doing. Now, let me show you the guys who did it. Hey, the audio is not great here as you watch, but in the end, the chant you will definitely understand. Uh, this is our state leader talking to the guys here. And as you look at the video, look at those faces, okay? Normally at political events, you have, God bless them, older Americans, people who have been doing this a long time. These guys are all people who aren't normally in politics, who decided, you know what, I'm not going to wait for anybody else. I'm going to get up. I'm going to fight back. These are the guys who won in the New Jersey Senate and hopefully will win in the New Jersey House soon. Watch. I have not gotten that win if, not, if one of you guys didn't uh, Even though like only 10 or 11 or something, had, like uh, a speech, the fact that we had so many people that had to freaking cut us off, to tell us, like, like, all right, we get it, you're supporting us, you get it, we get it. They, they get it, they hear us, we're almost there. This is, we're so close, we're so close to doing it. And again, this is because you guys showed up. If I was there testifying Eli and there was no one else, we could have gave a good speech, but who gives a crap if no one's here? It's like, who are the citizens? You guys, we look at you guys are. You gotta get this done, you gotta save a democracy. You guys are. So, James would say, how strong? Too strong. Can I get too something? Strong. How strong? Too strong. How strong? Too strong. How strong? Too strong. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
I want Wolfpack guys chanting too strong in front of every state legislator in the country, man, coming to their house. And we're this close to winning in my house, my home state of New Jersey. Wolf-pack.com. Join the fight. It's the best fight you'll ever be a part of. And uh, feels so good to win, man. We're on a march. Join that march.